Hello there, this is IK Games, and today we're going to continue what we were doing last time. I've already bucketed out the marble flooring required, and we're going to this time do the grand hallway. So this one should be a fairly short video, depending on how much information we want. Now, first things first, I believe we need to get the walls and get that out of the way. Go all the way around. I remember having a three. I think we had three in the middle. Wow. Let me go by five. It's easier that way. Five. Yep. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Okay. So, the middle three here. Gotcha. It's going to be two over. Okay. Boop, boop. And... And we go. Pretty, pretty simple. Foundation's the most annoying bit. Trying to get everything nice and beautified, so to say. Now, for a grand hall, hmm, we need to get the carpet going. Let's see. That shouldn't be too difficult. I know exactly where it is. If I can find it again. Metal, nature, nature, props, carpet floor. Here we go. We need to give a one by one paint. Going all the way up until most likely I'd let that be the last. Give it a good splash. Splash here. Splash there. Denoting. The edge of the carpet going up in steps, mayhaps. That works out pretty well. Maybe if we get some edge, would it? No, no, it would overlap, would it not? Okay. So, need a nice little throne. Need the entrances. Maybe go back into the edge. I believe... One, two, three. No, that's the wrong one. Wrong mode. One, two, three. Get the stone work. Three, two, three, one, two, three. Have little side rooms, uh, or have little alcoves, posts, podiums. That's a good idea. Uh, pillars. There we go. Pillars of stone. Have them. Ah. Uh, Located randomly, sporadically, throughout the area. P probably more in the back. I believe we could do that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, three. And then we'd have a nice little area back there. So, one, two, three. Hold on. Four, right? Three between. Two, skip. Skip two, place. Skip to place, skip to place. Perfect. It's going to be a large area that also doubles as a ballroom, should you choose to. Uh, you can add uh, your own uh, tables and the confectionery suites. It wouldn't be too difficult. Uh, let's get a throne. Go ahead and just place it. Uh, going to be a single throne for now, most likely. Could do. Ah, oh, that works. Going to be a bit pompous. Uh, it should be fairly... It Okay, should it be five feet across? Probably not. So, having it placed... Maybe not. That won't really work. Having a singular seat, maybe, of gold. Or a uh, double seat of gold. Uh, having some tapestry... Maybe not so much. Hmm. Decorations, decorations, decorations. What should we do for decorations? Maybe we should just look through them. No bushes, no cages. Carpets are fine, wagons, but chairs and benches are doing okay. It's going to be singular for now. Chest, coins, valuables. Coffins, bridges, boxes. Potions, books, boats. Again, completely unedited, because 
reasons. <laughs> if you want to skip through this, one thing you could do is mute it and just fast forward through it. If you want to watch the process and all the nonsense I go through. That's valid. That's very valid. Bags, awnings, black and white, space, vegetation. Maybe a couple of statues. Yeah, that would work. Have some castle guard statues. Uh, off to the side. Maybe some of them being ranged. Uh, that'd work. Have them placed equal, distant. Uh, every now and then, have a statue. Castle Guard B. Have them placed sporadically. It's not a bad idea. Statue, and then have the traditional Castle Guard B statues. Placed in that direction. That's not bad at all. So, being a main room, I was planning on doing a three-wide, two-tall castle. Maybe a second story, maybe a third story, maybe not. Maybe it would be going either way. But there's a good chance that your uh, party may not even go to this area. They may just venture everywhere else and just avoid the throne room. Don't want to find the king. Don't want to fight the king. The king being a level 20 nonsense. So, let's see here. Armoire, altars, bookshelves. It's not really going to be heavily decorated in here is it so again i guess we just go ahead and round out the room a bit maybe adding a uh ah, it needs to stop doing that hands not the most stable go to this side equal distant height go all the way down for the walls, just being a nice open place. This would be a nice role play. Uh, if you want to choose, let your player, just, player characters choose who they want to role play with rather than forcing an a uh, role play encounter on people. Uh, those two being slightly larger, maybe not. Delete and then place. There we go. That's, uh, that's the same size. I mean, large is powerful and scary. But that's about the size of a person. Shield Guardian works out just fine. We'd like to have, um, let's say, continue with the theme of security for the king, so it's two past. Have... An exit here and an exit there for the king's personal use to try to escape. Uh, it, if there's an invading force and there's a big fight going on, they have to have an escape route out the back, would they not? Mm. Also, it would allow uh, devious kings and game masters, it would allow them to blacken out the top area to potentially place an ambush, have them coming in from the south, having them come in from the north. Do as you will with that. It'll be a fairly simple area. It's going to be a simple room. You don't have to complicate things, I guess. No need for complications at all. Speaking of complications, why are you doing that? Why is it going off into the area? Yeah, why is it Why is it doing that randomization? I didn't really approve of that. I don't approve of that at all. Okay. So, mayhaps two, and then two. There we go. Allowing double doors, allowing larger entrance way for doing things that are need to be doing. Uh, probably have a triple door entrance right here, or have a kind of guest waiting area. That would work out fairly well. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, entrance here. I believe do a hmm. Having a double door entrance and a 25 by 25 being odd numbered is a little bit annoying. But it'll work. It'll work. Bit of an entrance way. Uh, I could decorate this area, make it a, a little waiting area as uh, guests decorate it uh, for 
entryway, like announcing your presence going into the Grand Ball Arena. Uh, go announcing it to the king for problems and troubles. Commoners coming to the king or noble lord and so forth and so forth. I would like to put a big door down. Double door. Just type in double and it likes it. Double iron. Studded. Studded looks nice. Give it a lock. Give it a... Give it some hinges that do. Maybe not. The hinges look actually kind of bad on my end. There we go. Give it a nice little double door. Give uh, give the players something to be anticipated about. Uh, have it simply decorated. Have it decorated with gold items. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Keeping that in there. <laughs> is what it is. Tinted gold, gold, yeah, gold has, gold falcon, mm. gold this, gold that, gold that, gold a knob, maybe not gold. Uh, hmm. Well, let's just go ahead and start decorating uh, furniture then. Um, maybe a uh, couple of fireplaces around the area to keep the area warm wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, keeping fireplaces in the corners for the. Uh, Colder days. That works. A bit of a hearth area for people to gather around. That works. That works. That works very well. Let's see. No beds. Uh, wouldn't so much have that. It wouldn't so much have benches in the waiting area. If it'd be nobility and stuff coming in, it would be hardwooded benches. It would be probably like decorated chairs and stuff. Ah, I like these. These work out pretty well. Shrink them a little bit. Give it a bit of a random rotation. That works out better than I thought. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Rotate it a good bit. Just have it a even uh, distribution. Gives her for some carpets. Uh, probably the same two carpets would work. That works out fairly well. Maybe a little bit too well. Maybe. Don't traditionally want weapons showing. Um. Benches and the like for people to sit down. I mean, again, probably wouldn't be too comfortable. Which way is the front? I believe this way is the front. That's the way is the front. Uh, long style benches. Going every so way. Two, two, two. And then keeping that kind of close to the hoth. Need to have... Uh, so not so much for... Uh, it's more for standing around the fire. Uh, they would have maybe a couple of tables. Decorated. For food sake. Healer's table. Butcher's bird table. Cheese table. Yes. Cheese. Uh, ogre table. That's a, that's an interesting one. Vegetable bush. Hmm. Maybe I should more furniture. I mean, is it in here? Flowers, rugs, table, alchemist. Uh, no, no. Table market, table square for food. Uh, how about just standard blank tables then? That'll work. Having, denoting that there be some, uh, being a few tables around. It'd be off kilter to the one on the outside, yes. And then a half and half. That works. Uh, for food and refreshments, uh, staying close to the hearth. Bit of a gathering places in the corners. 
Uh, you would keep the big open area for the ball. You could have an orchestra playing back behind in the area, one of the top areas. You could have it next. You wouldn't really keep a lot near the king. Uh, you would have the guards, depending on what kind of magical faction you're doing. I think we're already looking fairly well. Um, maybe we should decorate the back area a little bit more. Uh, curtains? Curtains. I see. Curtain brown, curtain red. Let's have some brown curtains and have them denoting that you probably shouldn't be traveling back there. But not so much of a doorway entrance. Uh, preventing immediate sight lines. Uh, but also allowing a quick escape should be needed. Uh, there'd be guards posted at one of the exits, uh, depending on which way I make the king's castle. Probably be right, maybe be left. Make it a king's quarters, or maybe the emergency escape area. As for... I like the main hall look. That doesn't look too bad. We're not too far into it. So yes, this should definitely be a quick one. Hmm... As for what we're going to be doing in the back area, maybe another double. Oh. Refreshes the wall bits a little bit. I didn't realize you can do that with L. I'm learning things all over the place. Alright. So, double. Not studded. Wooden iron, that works. Uh, hmm. Maybe you have to protrude out a little bit. Protrude out just a little bit. Keeping it halfway. Very well. Knowing that things are doors. Uh, oh. What are you doing here? That was interesting. Guess the button I hit did something. All right. So that allows for the king's quick escape. There'd be guards posted back here at all times. A probably a it would be higher standard area. Uh, probably maybe a walkthrough area as well as an emergency escape for the king. So think of it kind of like a normal hallway. Uh, having maybe a smaller, some smaller desks, uh, lighting the area. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, on the opposite ends. One, two, three, four, and then on the opposite ends. One, two, three, four, on opposite ends. One, two, three, four. That works. Uh, maybe not specifically. Let's let's do the one off. Uh, one in the middle. One over here. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. So six. Have chandeliers. Have the armors again. Standing on opposite ends. Of the uh, chandeliers that we will be having. No, 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 no. You can go right here because there's chandel bras. It works out fairly well, giving some uh, light to the area. A bit simple, but gets the point across. Now, let us see here. What else is in here? Yes, goals denoting evil intent. That'd work. Now. Can't do any pictures back here. Can't do really any fountains. Uh, flower pots and arrangement. Shelves, statues, tables, displays, table fancy, alchemical sources, lanterns, windows, wells, torture rack. Yes, back behind the king's chambers, a torture rack. You can still hear the screaming of the souls back there that are just screaming because, ow. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe these default rogues would be better down here. I do like the default better. That works out. That actually looks quite a bit better. Yes, 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 it does. 
keep things marble on the inside, except for the main carpet. Uh, don't want to increase the cleaning bill, <laughs> so to say. Uh, adding a thoroughfare area so the king or the uh, important staff can to and throw, uh, or making it so servants, yeah, servants would have a hard time. They so this would have to be a thoroughfare area for just traveling back and forth. Now, would they have carpet for that? Oh, that's a good question. Would it be a different color carpet? Would it be indoor? Would they have something different? Would they bother going with wood? Probably not. Black and white, gravel, no. Stone, tiles, ice, brick, building, concrete. Developer, glass, glass, metal, metal, nature, nature. Props! Maybe, perhaps, changing... Carpet. Whoops. I paid it off. This is fine. Denoting a uh, a less or a more important traveled area, only for the locations to go into. This being a more common and used rug pattern. This sticking out with a more dominant pattern. Yes, that doesn't look too bad at all. Now, what else can we put in here? Let's look through the list real quick. I feel like it's missing something. Something. Not bags, not barrels, not coinage, even though maybe he would have some coinage laying around, but it wouldn't be obvious. Not crates, crystals, cushions. Maybe some cushions. No, 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 no. No desks. Doors are done. Dummies, fences. Fire! The house is on fire. Maybe it would be a flag. A flag posted. Uh, nah. Yes, that actually would make sense, having a flag posted inside the main hall. Uh, Knight's Banner. A banner blue. I will place a black flag. So, no, nah, it wouldn't be blowing. Uh, it would be... I guess I'd have to do brown. Uh, banner, brown... Uh, denoting the, ah, I would, uh, denoting whatever colors the Lord may have in the background, uh, maybe having a large picture frame directly behind his chair, uh, Lord or Lady, uh, yes, there could be a lady in control of this castle, food, uh, not necessarily, you could do that in particulars. Uh, it, specifically any fountains within here. That yeah, would be interesting. But no. I do not see fountains being commonplace. So, with that, I think this is going to be one of the shortest ones yet. Simply decorated. Uh, but it needs a lot of the open space for all the NPCs that you could potentially place in. Giving a ball, if you have a bunch of bards in your party, creating the Bartic party, however... You could have them intertwine, choose who they want to communicate with, a little bit of work on the Game Master. But if you want to emphasize the freedom of your player characters, then do so. And I'll leave it there. There's not much else to do. So, again, thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you like it. Leave a comment if you don't like it. Let me know what you don't like. I'll try to fix it. I mean, I'm not above admitting I make mistakes. Or my aesthetic sense is terrible. <laughs> Why not? Try to get it practical. Uh, if, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to keep seeing more, subscribe. You'll get notified of all the new stuff. Hit that bell icon. You know how the usual stuff goes. You don't have to, but I'd appreciate any support. But I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching, and take care, everybody.